Hello there everybody, Sam's Trains here and welcome back to the railway and I'm coming at you today to show you a very entertaining little uh, device um, that uh, I did show a while ago uh, but I want to show it again today in a little more detail and uh, here it is, it's absolutely microscopic as you can see this is a little Gandhi dancer um, it's a really really hilarious little model if I lift it up for you <laughs> um, it's a tiny little thing and it is motorised would you believe um, but uh, it's not exactly what I'd call reliable, but uh, I had a few people ask me uh, if I'd show it and uh, yes, I will show it. So yeah, here it is, the Bachman Gandhi Dancer. Uh, yeah, I don't know really what else to say about it other than the fact that I don't really like it because I have to take it apart and service it every time I want to use it because I think it is on its last legs. And uh, yeah, unfortunately this is not an unboxing today because obviously it doesn't have a box, I just bought it uh, second hand for £17 I think it was. Uh, but yeah, a very interesting little device and uh, it's good for a laugh. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll put this up on the white background and show it to you in a little more detail. And uh, once I've done that, we'll get it running. Uh, but after that, you know, I think I'm going to be done pretty quick. So what I think I'll do is uh, I'll get some just totally random locomotives out on the line and have a little running session. Uh, so all is not lost if you don't, well, if you're not desperate to see the Gandhi Dancer, I've got something else to show you uh, later on. So yeah, uh, anyway, yep. Yeah, Let's have a look at the Gandhi Dancer then. First, a little bit of info, but there's not a lot to say really because it's quite generic. Uh, but yep, yeah, they're really uh, called hand carts, aren't they? Yeah, hand carts. And basically, they're, well, they appeared hundreds of years ago. Uh, well, not hundreds, but well over a hundred. And their function was really just for track maintenance. So a couple of blokes, like on this one, uh, would get on and start pumping. And they could travel up and down the tracks without using any fuel or whatever. And they can sort of maintain service and uh, just generally check the tracks uh, for the locomotives. And yeah, I don't know if I'd call this a locomotive. I mean, it's motorised, but that's, <laughs> that's where the similarities end. But yeah, here's a little close-up anyway. And there it is. <laughs> I must admit, every time I see this on my shelf, I do have a little laugh at it, because it is a ridiculous little thing. And I would love to meet the guy, the guy who decided, we need a model Gandhi Dancer. But uh, yeah, um, yeah, it's, uh, I'm just trying to work out what to say about it, really. I mean, it's not a bad little thing. I mean, the size of it is the most impressive thing. Uh, you know, the fact that they've managed to fit the gears, the motor, and all this uh, little pumping mechanism uh, onto it. I think it's just incredible, really. Uh, but, you know, in the true uh, fashion of my reviews, I suppose it's best to look at the details. So we'll look at the little green man. So, uh, yeah, he's uh, quite an interesting fella. He's got his legs mounted on the sides of his body, as you can see, which makes for quite an... well, it's quite terrifying, isn't it, really? Um, but he has got a little hat on, as you can see, and a little uh, haircut on the back there. Uh, but apart from that, he's, uh, he's fairly plain. And uh, the yellow chap is not much different, really. He's got the same interesting anatomy. Um, but yeah, they, they do the job and they look all right when they're running. Very, very funny indeed. And uh, yeah, you'll see that later on. Uh, but other than that, the thing is quite simple in terms of detail. Uh, as you can see, it's just uh, a cast split chassis model, um, which means uh, both sides of the chassis uh, go live uh, when it's running. Uh, which just, I suppose, makes things a little bit easier. It means you don't have to have pickups per se. So, yeah, uh, yeah, that's it really. Uh, there's a little toolkit on there, a little cast toolkit, as you can see. And, uh, yeah, it's a, a real pain to take apart, I might add, as well. Not a nice thing to dismantle. Uh, but it is possible, but of course, be very careful because it's a lot, a lot tinier than uh, locomotives. So, yeah, that's the Gandhi Dancer. <laughs> Let's go and uh, test its performance then, if indeed it will run at all. But yeah, okay, let's see how this goes. Okay, so it's the moment my life has been building up to. Uh, will the Gandhi Dancer work? As I said, I had to take it apart before I started filming this to uh, clean it because it just wasn't happening, it just wasn't running at all. Uh, and I did manage to get it working, but whether or not it's still working now is another thing. But uh, here we go then, the Gandhi Dancer, a little bit of juice. I don't know how it's going to do at slow speeds, but I guess we'll find out. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, it's working. No, it's not working. Let me, give it a, let me give it a little nudge. Yeah, there we go. All the way. Now, this thing is at real low speeds. Come on. And when I ramp it up, hang on, let me take it out of shot. Oh, God. Come on. Now, I'm going to run it back past you at full speed. <laughs> I mean, you have to admit, the speed of this thing is silly. Look at that. 
But yeah, that's the Gandhi Dancer then. Um, I suppose I'll send it round the layout. Whether it will make it one lap or not, oh, <laughs> is another thing because it gets hot very quickly. But uh, yeah, I've filmed it now, so if it pops, it pops. Um, but yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry to make you sit through this. Alright, go on then. Let's send it off. Half speed, I think. Well, there it goes. Probably never to be seen again. Oh dear, those poor blokes. Yep, it stopped. <laughs> oh, it lives on. Oh, it's just gone under the bookcase. Hang on. And I've zoomed out for this shot, just so that you can see how small, <laughs> small it is. Look at that. Crikey. I don't know, it's actually running quite nicely now, but it's literally just being cleaned out and, you know, totally gutted really. Right, now I didn't know whether I should do this or not for this model because I know it's just a novelty, but, you know, everything else gets uh, rated like this, so I thought I'd do the same here. So detail then, um, you know, it's quite impressive, the size of the thing, so despite the fact that there's not a lot of detail, I've still given it 6 out of 10 there. Uh, performance, again, is not really designed to perform, I don't think. it's. It's more of a novelty, and the fact that it works at all is very impressive. Uh, but the performance isn't that great. It's uh, you know, it sparks, it smokes, it does all this stuff, um, and it needs a lot of maintenance. Perhaps that's because it's second hand. I don't know. If you've got one that was new, let me know how you get on with it performance-wise. But mine certainly isn't all that great. Uh, but character though, 10 out of 10, because those two little men with their pumping arms are really, really funny. I mean, maybe everybody doesn't find them funny, but you know, I think it really is entertaining. Uh, build quality 8 out of 10, um, you know it's pretty well built, I've taken it apart several times and I've not managed to break it which means it must have been built uh, reasonably well uh, with high quality materials. And value, mine costs £17 as I say, uh, normally I think it's about £35 from new and that would not be a good deal at all. But I think for £17 I'll give it an 8 out of 10 there, which means overall 6 out of 10, not a bad little model, and it's really not in the same league as the other models that I look at normally, but it's a cool little novelty and I do quite like it. It seems to be getting faster and faster, and it's starting to look like they're having a seizure. Look, they're flipping, flipping their heads back and forwards, look. Goodness. Right. Well, that's enough of the Gandhi Dancer, I think. I'll let it dance off into the distance for you. And, uh, yeah, let me go and get some random locomotives then, like I said I was going to. Just going to choose at random, because I normally have a theme, and it's nice sometimes not to have one. So, uh, yeah, let's get some engines running. All right, we're ready to go then. I'm just going to run three. Uh, so, first of all then, sticking with the theme of novelties, I thought it would be quite nice to run the Hogwarts Express. So here she comes with, uh, well, some uh, LMS coaches, six of those I think, although I didn't count, let me stop her there, oh no, she's just gone out of shot, bad idea, come on, oh, she stopped on those points, oh dear, there we go. Okay, so there's the Hogwarts Express, ready to go in just a second. Next up I've got, well let me show you, one of my original Triang 040 locomotives, hang on, there she is. Now I'm running her because I've literally, well first of all because I hardly ever run them and uh, I thought it would be nice to show you one and secondly because, uh, well last week or the week before I did a complete strip down and overhaul on her uh, cleaned every single, well every single piece basically uh, so that she's working absolutely perfectly and you'll hear just how quiet she is hang on, let me go again, listen it's silent, it really is silent uh, and that noise you can hear in the background is the uh, wind turbine, which has gotten a lot more noisy recently. Okay, finally then, on the very outer line, I've got my Backman uh, V2, which I haven't run in a long time, probably not since it was reviewed. So uh, I thought it would be nice to get her running, with some uh, Gresley coaches there, as you can see, in the blood and custard livery. Uh, so yeah, let's have a little running session then, and uh, see how these get on. Hogwarts as well. There we go. Alright, hope you enjoy it then, everybody. 
And as you can see, I'm demonstrating, just like Mark Filcher has, uh, the super duper pulling power of Triang 040s. There goes the V2. Lovely Backman model there. No trouble at all, really, pulling all these coaches. Great little model, that. And there's Hogwarts Castle. Looking lovely. <laughs> it's speeding along, isn't it? Yep, great little runner now. And a very, very graceful Backman V2. Not a modern engine really this one, but it's a super puller and it's gotten a lot quieter since I've had it. <laughs> yeah, nice model that. Righty oh then folks, that should just about do it for today. A little review of the Gandhi Dancer, and then just for those of you who uh, managed to struggle through that, a little bit of a reward running session for you. So I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you very much for watching as always. If you did enjoy the video, please feel free to leave a like or even a comment, because I'd love to hear from you. But for now, please feel free to check out the Facebook or Twitter pages at facebook.com forward slash samstrains or twitter.com forward slash samstrains. It would be lovely to see you on there. But for now, I'll say again, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you very soon. Cheers, everybody.